Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. I'm normalizing my audio to 90%. Um, I disagree with that setting. 90% is probably not a good idea. Normalization of audio, you select the audio clips that you want to normalize. What normalization does is normalization raises the level of the entire audio clip by the same amount, such that the loudest portion of the clip does not exceed the level that you specify. So with this clip selected, you go up to the Modify menu, go down to Audio, go down to Apply Normalization Gain. And notice that you have the ability to apply normalization gain, and it's measured in dB. What I do is I select all of my audio clips in the project, and then I normalize to negative 4.5 dB. This works out to be loud enough that you can hear everything clearly, and not so loud that you're going to run the risk of distortion. So, although to be absolutely truthful, what I do is I do my audio mixes inside soundtrack in virtually every case. If I'm in an absolute screaming hurry and I want to just do normalization and all I've got are talking heads, then I'll use the normalization filter, modify, audio, apply normalization gain, and I'll normalize to a setting of negative 4.5 dBFS, which stands for decibels full scale which is how Final Cut measures audio. For those of you that know audio, Final Cut measures audio peaks. It doesn't measure average audio levels. So we're always looking at a peak measurement. We're not looking at an average audio measurement. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.